Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little bit since I've sat down and filmed. I do apologize for that. We just had a lot going on with holidays and getting settled and whatnot. The Halloween week that was, was that two months ago? That whenever that was in October, that just took a lot out of me posting every day. So <clears throat> I'm just trying to get back in the groove of everything. Today we are gonna be filming my empties from October and November. So this is gonna be the last empties of the year that I have done. There's quite a bit of stuff in here. I've got a lot of skincare, some makeup. I actually even have some like candles and other stuff like that. Also, before we jump into that, I wanna give a quick shout out. The shirt that I am wearing is from my sister's boutique. Her and her best friend started a boutique called Silk and Suede. I'm going to link the shop down in the description box and I got this super cute tee from there. It's like this tie-dye cropped tee. And then I tried to do my eye makeup to somewhat match. I used the Glam Light Ice Cream Dream Palette. I went in with this mint chocolate, this mango, this strawberry, and that cotton candy. And that is what I have on my eyes. Ignore the train. But yeah, if you guys are interested in seeing oh, what I have in this bin, then just keep watching. All right, you guys, like I said, I have a crap ton of stuff in here. I went through a lot of stuff this, these past two months. I'm going to start off with these two candles. Um, they're not like completely used up, but they are used. Um, I can't use them anymore because like the wicks are gone and it's like not lighting. But these are both from Bath and Body Works and this one is Apple Weather. I like this one. When I think of apples, I think of like a crisp, clean smell. And that's what this is. It's not so much a sweet smell as it is a crisp, clean smell, if that makes sense. But I actually like this one even more. It's this pumpkin pecan waffles one. Oh my gosh. I don't really smell the waffle aspect, but I can completely smell the pumpkin and the pecans. And you guys, it smells so good. This one is my favorite out of the two for sure. Um, I have some body stuff, so let's get into that. First of all, I have this Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. I've gone through two of these, I believe. I actually have repurchased another one just because in the winter where my skin tends to be a little bit more on the drier side, I like to make sure I am nice and moisturized. And the nice thing about this is when your skin is wet, when you come out of the shower, you can just put this on on top of it. You don't have to wait for your skin to dry. And it's just kind of like a lazier thing for me to do. So I do love this. I've gone through a couple of them. Next is this Nivea Skin Firming and Toning Gel Cream thing. Um, I think I've gone through two of these. I honestly don't think it's worth it. It's, in my opinion, a bunch of hoopla. Just work out, honestly. I, there's not really like a magic cream that's gonna make you smaller or your skin. This didn't really do anything for me, I don't think. Even though I did go through two of these because I wanted to believe it would help. I don't really think they did. So there's that. Next is this hair care thing. This is the Bondi Boost. I think that's how you say it. I got this from Ulta. You guys, this is or was the best hair mask I have ever used in my entire life. Like it made my hair feel so, so soft. I feel like I could even, I know you put it like it, I put it in like that ends of my hair where I put my conditioner but it made my hair feel so soft and it even made me like go longer without washing my hair because usually if I go too long like the ends of my hair just kind of feel kind of like brittle and flaky and stuff like that but this made it feel so much better so I am going to get another one of these I haven't yet so that is all for like the hair care body care and I guess house stuff. So now we're gonna jump into skincare and makeup. So I actually don't really have very many makeup things, but I have a lot of skincare. So the two makeup products that I have, I have these two foundations. I didn't like completely go through this one, but it's gotten like, I've had this for forever. So it's kind of getting like all extremely thick and chunky. This is the NARS. 
Oh, there it is. Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And this is in the shade Mont Blanc. And I absolutely love this foundation. They have like a new matte one. And I kind of want to try that out. But if I wasn't poor, I would repurchase this. Um, I don't know if the shade would be a little bit too light. But I absolutely love this. Again, with this other one that's not all used up. But it is old. And y'all can just tell like that is disgusting i don't know how long i've had it but like it is so chunky and what disgusting and it's the milani conceal and perfect two-in-one foundation concealer and that's in the shade light natural i do like this one but i don't need to go out and get another one just because i have a lot of other foundations right now and this is what happens when you have too many foundations you don't get to use them up and they go bad as far as like things expiring like eyeshadow palettes I'll kind of let them run their course if not longer but as far as things that I'm putting like on my face I don't want to break my face out or mess it up so I tend to just throw those out and then the last makeup item I have is this from Essence it's their extreme lasting eye pencil this is in the shade silky nude as you can see I used that all up and I've actually purchased but another one, so I got it back up just because I love it so much. It gives you your under eye that brightening effect to make them look a little bit bigger, more wide awake. So that's the skincare stuff. Now we're going to jump into, actually, no, there's one more makeup product. And that is the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. This is my first time going through a translucent powder. And I'm super excited about this. I got this in a BoxyCharm. I did not like this. I will not go out and purchase this but I wanted to use it up. It has like this cooling sensation to it that sometimes would break my makeup apart and it just overall did not look very good on me. Like if I'm sitting down to film a video and not really going anywhere and just wanted my makeup to look good for an hour or a few minutes, then I would use this. Otherwise, if I was going out, I'd never use this. Okay, now that is all the makeup. Everything else is skincare. So let's kind of go in order. Um, the first thing that we have is this Pharmacy Very Cherry Clean Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm. I got this in a BoxyCharm. Um, I will not purchase this. I believe it has polyethylene in it. Yes, it's like right up top, which is like a form of plastic. So that is a no-no for me. I'm actually using the indeed laboratories watermelon watermelon melting bomb and that doesn't have polyethylene in it so i will continue to use that one but i did however just because it was sent to me use it all up will not purchase it next we have a cleanser this is the simple micellar facial gel wash i used this bad boy up pretty quick i really liked it i do believe that this is no longer available i'm not a hundred percent sure on it um, if it is still available, I don't need another cleanser. I have like three in my bathroom right now, so there's no need for me to go out and get another one. Next is the First Aid Beauty Facial Radiance Pads. I've used, I believe, three of these before. Um, I absolutely love these. I love First Aid Beauty. They have a lot of really awesome stuff, but I'm currently using the Paula's Choice thingy. It's I've gone through one or two of them before, so you've probably seen them on my channel, but I don't need another one of these right now, but however, I do very strongly recommend these. I absolutely love them, so if you're interested in looking for a toner, I would get these. So now let's go into some serums. So I have this 111 Skin Cairo ATP Sports Booster. Again, this is a BoxyCharm or Ipsy thing, I can't remember. I honestly, for the life of me, can't really think of what this did maybe a little cooling sensation other than that I got nothing so that would not be a repurchase item for me another thing that I got in subscription a lot of this stuff is subscription stuff um, is this clean skin club vitamin C brightening booster um, this is okay I've used a couple vitamin C's I think I like this the best but I do believe it's pricey 
I'm not sure, but I don't really need another vitamin C serum, so I'm not gonna repurchase another one, but I did like it and I liked the scent. I have like a very fresh, clean scent to it. Next is from QMS. It's this lip line corrector lip serum. I believe this thing is like over $100 and you're like supposed to put it above your lip for lip lines. I don't know, something absolutely ridiculous. I would never purchase anything like this. But again, BoxyCharm sent it. Um, it's not necessary. The cool thing about it is the twist up pump aspect of it. Other than that, nothing cool about it. Two more serums. Um, next we have the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% Zinc 1%. This is the second one I've gone through. I've already purchased another one and it's in my bathroom. I absolutely love this stuff. It makes my skin feel so good. Next is this Naturium. I think that's how you say it. Retinol 2.5 serum. You guys, I've used so much skincare the past two months. Um, I got this off Amazon. It was okay. I'm actually using a retinol from The Ordinary that's way cheaper than this, and I like that one better, so I wouldn't say I would recommend this, but it is nice, I guess. Um, we have three items left. Next, again from Pharmacy, is their Cheer Up Brightening C Eye Cream. Don't care for this at all. Um, I did not like the texture of it. It was like you would get a little bit on your finger, and you would think you would have enough to cover, but it's just, it, it wouldn't. And it was just, I don't know, it was like too thick, too thin. Somehow it's both of those. I don't really understand. And then next we have this, oh, I do prefer the First Aid Beauty Niacinamide Eye Brightening um, Cream. If you're looking for one, that one is way better because it has a bit of a tint to it. So it helps to brighten your under eyes. So I would recommend that one. Um, next, we have this Kinship Super Mellow Cream. It's all gone, so I can't really tell you what it's called, but I will list everything below. This was okay, but it has like this weird like scent to it. Um, I don't know if I would repurchase this. I just wanted to try out a different moisturizer. It was okay, but right now I'm using the First Aid Beauty Coconut Water Cream or something like that, and I like that one better, but this one was just okay and then the very last thing i have that i used up was in my fab fit fun box and that is from generation clay and it was their brightening purple clay mask um i really like this one i do prefer clay masks or just like wash up masks i don't like sheet masks or peel off masks or anything of that nature but i did really like this one it made my pores smaller and like tighten my skin but I don't really have the need to go out and purchase it just because I have so much skincare stuff that I'm trying to work through. So I don't need another one of these. But that is everything, you guys, in my bin that I used up the past couple months. Again, this is the last time I'll be doing this this year because the next one will be December and January. So, yeah, again everything I used up so much crap you guys but yeah thank you guys so much for watching today's video make sure you give this video a like and if you're not already go ahead and subscribe to my channel so you can be a part of the family I guess I don't know what we're calling this but yeah thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time bye <laughs>